Welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make mushroom grain spawn using the no soak, no simmer method. And a little preview of how we harvest the wheat grain for the grain spawn. So this is what unlimited grain spawn and substrate looks like for mushroom cultivation. Here we're harvesting a field of wheat and we're taking off the wheat grain and leaving this straw, which is the substrate for growing mushrooms. So we're just harvesting this wheat today with a combine and dumping it in these semi trucks. So this cool dude right here is my brother John and he's driving the tractor and grain cart, which he's about to transfer the wheat we just harvested into the semi truck. Check out this beautiful wheat grain. This is what it looks like immediately after harvesting it. Bro is chilling there just observing the situation, making sure that the semi truck is filled up evenly. And meanwhile in the back that semi truck's almost full. Now we just hang out and tag alongside the combine as it's harvesting the wheat and immediately transferring it into our grain cart. Alright, we're all filled up, now it's time to go unload again. Now this is the cycle of life. The combine dumps the grain into the grain cart and the grain cart's dumping the grain into the semi. Alright, and it looks like this semi truck is just about filled up completely. Alright, the bag is secured and we got some beautiful wheat grain. And now we're going to go turn it into some no soak, no simmer wheat grain spawn for growing mushrooms. Okay, so here's my secret recipe for making the easiest grain spawn you've ever made. I'm weighing out 200 grams of the wheat grain and dumping it into the jar. And just so you don't have to sit through it, here's a sped up version of me adding the 200 grams of wheat grain into each of the other jars. Now I just measure 90 to 100 milliliters of water and add it to each jar. With 90 milliliters of water the grain comes out perfect, but if you're not using the grain uh, right away it could dry out faster than if you used 100 milliliters. So if you're not using it right away just go with 100 milliliters of water per jar. Now I just put the lids on and each lid just has one hole with a filter on it to allow for gas exchange. I'm going to be inoculating these jars with agar culture so I don't need an injection port. Now 
Now I just shake each of the jars so the moisture covers all of the grains. So we didn't have to soak it overnight and we didn't have to simmer it we just added the water shook the jar a little bit and now we're adding the jars to a pressure cooker where we'll pressure cook it for about 90 minutes at 15 psi all right and after the pressure cooking cycle this is what the grain looks like and now we'll just remove them and then shake the jars to distribute that moisture. And we'll have to do this many times until it's all consistent. I shook the jars a bunch of times as they cooled down and this is what the grain looks like. Now I'm just inoculating these grain jars with this agar plate culture of a wild white oyster that I cloned from the forest next to my house. But first I have to sterilize the scalpel by using this custom infrared sterilizer I got from my friend over at rhizofunga.com. You should go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. I think he does a really great job at making these. While the scalpel is cooling down, I just take this time to wipe all the jars down with isopropyl alcohol so that everything's clean. Now I just cut some wedges out of the agar culture and add them right to the jar of grain. The more agar wedges you use, the faster the grain jar will colonize. After the agar wedges are added to the grain jar, I just shake it a bit until it's covered by the grain and then I incubate it at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and a few days later the mycelium should be covering the grain like this. At this point I shake the grain jar to distribute all that mycelium so that it colonizes even faster. A few days to a week later, the grain jar should be fully colonized and ready to add to substrate. So here I'm going to wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. I'm also working in front of a laminar flow hood, but you can use a still air box just to make sure the environment is clean. I had one of my hardwood fuel pellet substrates laying around, so that's what I'm going to use for this demonstration. The substrate is just 5 cups of hardwood fuel pellets and 1 cup of wheat bran, the same substrate I use for most of the species. I dump the whole jar of colonized grain into the bag of substrate. Then I just massage the bag real well so that all the grain is evenly distributed in the substrate. After it's all evenly mixed, I use an impulse sealer to seal the bag.
and I just placed this substrate bag on a shelf in a room that's 75 degrees Fahrenheit and the mycelium will colonize the whole block. After a couple weeks, the whole substrate block was covered with mycelium, so I cut the top off and placed it inside of this mini crow tent chamber. So I had to leave for four days um, on a camping trip to the upper peninsula of Michigan for an event called Myco Blitz, where we all went out and found some wild mushrooms for a DNA analysis. The mushrooms didn't have fresh air exchange or humidity for those four days, um, so they look kind of crazy, but also this is kind of like what the wild oysters looked like. Um, but anyway, I hope this video was helpful for the no soak, no simmer wheat grain method. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions.